Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The totalitarian regimes responsible for the most heinous atrocities in the 20th century, think Stalin, Mao, Hitler, Pol Pot, they didn't get there overnight. They used fear to control. They excluded the dirty people softly at first. They justified the exclusion. They moved to harder exclusions and eventually eliminated people, either socially or physically. In 21st century Australia, state premiers are racing down that familiar path, trying to out-tyrant each other, drunk on power, setting up their own biosecurity police states, complete Members with medical left. apartheid. Sadly, we've enabled it, refusing to rein them in and, worse, supplying the Australian Immunisation Register data that underpins this medical apartheid. Fear is the justification uh, of choice for coercion and control with non-vaccinated Australians increasingly demonised, ostracised and socially eradicated. In Queensland, the Premier tweeted that people not vaccinated raised red flags, not just one, but 22 of them. The media, politicians and health bureaucrats all claim COVID-19 is now a pandemic of the unvaccinated, but there is no justification for such demonisation. In a German study, 55 per cent of symptomatic patients over 60 were fully vaccinated. Gibraltar, where all 34,000 residents are fully vaccinated, is recording 60 new cases a day. The totalitarian path, the path that we are unquestionably on, has never ended well. The solution is a rediscovery of human dignity, along with, and I don't say the this lightly, civil disobedience. Time.